topic of my paper presentation is MRI and stroke patient at tertiary health care center. Stroke is defined as a syndrome of a rapidly developing clinical, size, a clinical uh, sign of focal uh, disturbances of cerebral function lasting more than 24 hours or leading to death and disability. So, the stroke is among the uh, primary tolerance of death and disability. And the incidence of stroke in India is 145 per 1 lakh person in Arpan and 124 per 1 lakh person in rural. Type of stroke are cerebral infarction, primary intracranial hemorrhage, non traumatic cerebral hemorrhage. Ischemic stroke is the common type of stroke accounting for 80-90% of all cases. In a cerebral ischemia results in a central uh, irreversible infarct tissue code surrounded by a peripheral region of stunted cells that is called the penumbra. Salvaging the penumbra is the primary objective of treatment. CT has been the modality widely used in evaluating, however, MR has greater sensitivity and specificity for detecting early infarction than the neural CT. MR has become primary modality for evaluating stroke patient. Typical stroke MR protocol consists of T1, T2, flare, DWI, ADC, MR, angiography, and MR spectroscopy. Most infarct can be used to in conventional MR sequences. Diffusion related MR is highly uh, sensitive for detection of hyperacute ischemia. GRE for uh, hemorrhages, status of Vessels can be assessed by MR angiography and status of various metabolites can be evaluated by MR spectroscopy. The aim is, aims and objective the role of MRI in evaluation of stroke to determine the territory of involved blood vessels to MR, MR spectroscopy finding in ischemic stroke. Material methods, the study was conducted in the radio diagnosis department of Pazapanaga Medical College, Pazapanaga UP, 55% of all the study, irrespective of sex, clinical, circulatory stroke report to the radio diagnosis department for MRI brain was included in the study. All MRI brain scan was performed on Simon's macro Sensor 1.5 Tesla. The study was carried out with patient's lines of fine. The standard supplies polarized head coil. This is the case one. Here we can see the acute left, uh, uh, this is the DWI image showing the acute left MC impact showing hyper intensity DWI. This is the corresponding ADC image showing hyper intensity. And this is the same patient MR spectroscopy shows a lactate peak in the same area. This is the case two. This is the axial image showing the hyper intensity uh, in the PCA, in the, uh, in the PCA territory. This is the case three showing lacunar infarct. This is a DWI image which is showing lacunar infarct in the left coordinate nucleus. And this is the MR angiography 3D drop image which is showing occlusion of the left MCA. This is the case five image which is showing harm in the right sylvan fissure which is shown as hyper intensities in the set sylvan fissures. This is the case five which shows the GR. This is the GR image axial section which shows uh, blooming in the right hyperactive region. This is the same uh, responding DWI image the same patient showing hyper intensity in the same region. Result in discussion, that's the case, case distribution among the stroke patient, uh, 80% away from infarct, cerebral hemorrhage was present in 10%, cerebral thrombus was present in 5%, and cerebral hemorrhage was present in 1.2%. The clinical presentation of the stroke patients were hemiplegia and 49%, maximum was facial palsy, then gait disturbances, then headache, then vertigo, visual disturbances, and vomiting. So this factor which is associated with stroke as we have come across, so the hypertension was present in around 58%, diabetes was present in around 52%, smoking was present in around 38%, Diabetes mellitus and hypertension was present in around 36%. Hypercholesterolemia was present in around 32%. And cardiovascular disease in 9% of cases. In a ischemic stroke, na study population of 55 first patients, age 50, 44 suffered from infection. Among the 44, the infarct, 31 suffered from acute ischemia. And uh, uh, 18% suffered from chronic impact and 5% suffered from acute and chronic. The most commonly affected classical treatment was the MCA, which accounted for 45 to 46% of all. In fact, it was further observed that the left MCA was more commonly involved. PCA was also involved in six patients. Among the among them, four was uh, on the right side, three patients suffered from ACA territory in fact, and two among them were suffered from the right side ACA. Involvement of basilar artery territory without involvement of PCA was observed in three patients. Chemical changes in white matter were observed in six patients. Among the six patients, three showed perimental hypersensitivities and three and three, three patients suffered from hyperintensity in subcortical and deep into white matter. Acute infarction of was observed in four patients within these white matter ischemic hyperintensity uh, shows hyperintensity on DWI. Three patients in a study population suffered from multifocal infarct. Among other study population, two patients suffered from watershed infarct between the right and PCA, right, MC and PCA degree. So MR finding of infarct that we came through, the stages of from hyper acute, let's 24 hours, the T1 ISO, T2 pair ISO to hyper, DWI increase signal, uh, ADC, ADC maps decrease signal on acute one to three days. After uh, the insult, T1, on T1 it is hypo, on T2 and it is hyper, on DWI it is increased signal, on ADC it is decreased signal. On early, early surgery, that is from C to 7 days, T1 hypo, T2 pair hyper, a DWI increased signal, and apparent uh, ADC it is decreased signal. On late subacute, 7 to 30 days, T1 hypo, T2 player uh, hyper intense, diffusion weighted there is increased signal, and ADC there can be normalized, increased signal, which is known as T transit. 
On chronic, there is hypo intense due to the volume loss in septal Malaysia with or without vitamin involvement. And T2, it is surrounded with hypo intensity, it is surrounded with hyper intensity, which is because of in septal Malaysia with glasses and DW, there is normalized, and see it is normalized. On comparison, among the study population, 31 patients have acute, altered uh, characteristics were observed in 18 patients, both in conventional situated and BW experiences. A few of showing the situation uh, in BW I, without altered signal characteristics in conventional MRD matrix. T2 was observed in 30 patients. Hemorrhagic stroke, six patients in our study population suffered from hemorrhagic stroke, which constituted 10%. In a study, the cerebral hemorrhage in vessel ganglia was observed in three patients. One patient suffered from lower involvement, and one patient suffered from cerebral involvement, and one from thalamic involvement. Stroke index was seen in five patients among a study. Three patients suffered from cerebral venous thrombosis and two patients from cerebral blood hemorrhage. These are the stroke parameters. The MR finding was multivoxel MR was performed in 31 patients with a acute infarct in, in a study and showed decreased NA concentration in all 31 patients with a contraception compared with the contralateral cell. And the lactate test was observed increased in all the 31 patients. Voxel uh, immediately adjacent to the area of diffusion, which has normal signal on the uh, on normal signal on the MR image, shows preserved NA concentration. However, the lactic tip was observed. So this is the salvageable area. On conclusion, MR is a non-invasive modality. There's no risk of ionization radiation as such. Subtle lesions can be identified in MRI due to superior gray white matter resolution. Early detection of infarct in MRI may be attributable to its ability to pick up altered water signals. PW has shown the altered signal characteristics in acute infarct earlier as compared in conventional T2. BW has shown differentiation in hyper acute infarct, makes it one of the primary signals that can aid in treating the patient with golden app. PW can differentiate acute lignin infarct with white matter and is responsible for patient symptoms. And PW has helped help differentiate sub acute infarct, which shows T2 shine through from acute and chronic. Multivoxel MR was performed patients with acute infarct. We also put a decrease in NA concentrations in the infarcted code of all the patients when compared to the contralateral side. These are my references. Thank you.